A temporary fence has been placed around the gravesite at the Veterans Cemetery, addressing an issue that has been going on for years. It's a place to mourn, visit, and show respect. The Veterans Cemetery, located in Marpy, has over 100 individuals buried at the gravesite. Individuals who have fought for the freedoms we have today as U.S. citizens. But locals whose loved ones are buried there are upset due to a reoccurring issue on the upkeep of the cemetery. Before we give my son his, the blessing to join the army, uh, I know he was expecting us to see to it that when this time comes, he will be buried at a peaceful place, a sacred place. But unfortunately, cows that roam in and out for more than two years, it's, it's, uh, we, we as a family, we cannot accept that. I expect our government and those who are supposed to keep up with the maintenance of uh, our cemetery to do their job. Cows roam the gravesite seeking grass to eat, but along the trek leave droppings on the headstones and burial plots, and families of those buried there just want something to be done to stop the defacing of the cemetery. It's been five years since I buried my son. I never missed a day. I'm the type of person, I go there middle of the night, 12 a.m., 12 p.m., 2 a.m., 2 p.m. They're not living up to our expectation. So I, I don't trust them. I don't know. I don't know what to tell them because it's the same. Whenever we complain, they run to DPO, have a meeting by themselves. And here they go out on the news, tell people that, you know, they let the family know. We don't know anything. But this isn't the first time this issue has been brought up. Congressman Gregorio Sablon says it goes back years. The upkeep of the cemetery is not a new thing. It's been recurring for years. So we have people coming, people calling, uh, and uh, and we call up the legislative in the veterans affairs office, not with this Mr. Ayacopo, but even prior years. So, but there's. Very little they say they can do because they don't. They lack the resources. A meeting was held two weeks ago where officials from different departments addressed the issue of cow manure on the cemetery. The closest permittee um, has informed DPL in this meeting two weeks ago that his fence is broken and was very much a part of the joint meeting that we had. The other option that the Director of Compliance said during the day of the meeting uh, is that we will call DPS and ask them to um, re either remove or shoot the cattle. Um, there is a, that's pretty harsh and that's not where we want to go. Executive Officer of the Veterans Affairs Office, Stanley Jacopo, says he has heard the concerns of the cows desecrating sacred grounds and takes full responsibility. And as of Tuesday this week, Jacopo has presented a solution to the problem. I take full responsibility for, for this because I am here. And I think society tends to forget our veterans. We are not going to forget our veterans. This is the CNMI cemetery for uh, veterans cemetery. And I'm the guy that's sitting in this office and I'm in charge and I'm responsible. We put up um, a, a temporary fence. As you can see, this is about 200, approximately 200, uh, close to 300 feet long, and it goes out, and then it's gonna stretch out about 100 something feet wide with one entry point over here. And this is the only way you're gonna get in and get out so the families can come in and visit their loved ones. With accommodation to this side, so when we have burials, uh, we can open up to DPW when they come in to dig for the backhoe and trucks to come in. So as you can see to this suggestion to this side, they will come in so only for that for that purpose. He says the temporary fence will remain until the permanent fence is complete that will surround the whole cemetery, which is projected to be complete by the end of this year. Reporting for KSPN, I'm Ashley McDowell.